the question is really, what is the one piece of advice that I could give to landscape photographers to improve the composition for the better? One of the biggest mistakes that I see um, people make with, with landscape photography is actually posting their photographs on Facebook and social media. The family's gone to Bali, which is awesome for them, well done. And um, mom stands there, it's early morning, the sun's coming up, and believe me, the, the sunrise there is beautiful. Uh, rich, warm colours. And the first thing she does is she, she lines the family up in front of her, because that's quite important to show everybody that you're on, on holiday in Bali. And um, there's Jane, who is seven, there's Michael, who's nine, and there's Thomas, who's 11. And then there's Dad, who's quite short, um, and he's bald. So Mum stands and she takes this beautiful, beautiful sunrise shot with him, all in the photograph. The only problem is, is that she's holding the camera at head height. And when she does that, she cuts all the kids out, because they're still quite small. You get this, this, this lovely shot of what looks well it's the top of dad's head really so you, you get what looks like a moon rising on this side of the beach then you get the water you get a slight slither of of sun um coming up it's sort of 98.2 percent not risen yet so there's just this little slither and then you get a completely skew horizon and um, and mom posts it onto onto facebook and she gets two and a half thousand likes 700 comments and everybody saying stunning gorgeous amazing and to be quite honest a photograph like that deserves to have you put in jail so um, or at least banned from social media for life so i think the the one absolutely fundamental piece of advice that i give you that that will absolutely improve your landscape compositions forever is get down low, get onto your knees. When you do that, you immediately have a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. And in that foreground, you're going to capture a lot of detail and you're going to capture a lot of texture. And that's going to make all the difference to your photograph. Here's another thing <clears throat> about getting down low. Reflections. Reflections are amazing. I, I often... Uh, get approached by uh, Mrs. Gordon Smith, Ferrero Duplessis, who will say to me, um, well, um, I'm just waiting for um, a gorgeous summer's day before I go and I, I take my landscapes. Um, that's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Winter is your time. Winter is your moment. That's when you've got uh, those beautiful dramatic skies, You've got mood, you've got depth, it's, it's all there for you. On those perfect wintry mornings, if you get down low, foreground, middle ground, background, reflections of sky on, a, a sky on, the, on the sand, life-changing, absolutely gorgeous. I, I personally find that getting down low really brings me close to, to nature. I love shooting seascapes, and when I get down low, when I'm close to the water, Nature draws me in. I really feel it. I get into that rhythm. I feel the, 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 the rush of the water. I really experience it. It's a sound sensory. It's a complete sensory experience. So, so um, get down low when it comes to water and you're immediately going to bring that, that flow into the viewer's perspective. Whenever you take a photograph, whether it's of people or whether it's of a landscape your end objective is to tell a story and then finally what you need to do is you need to be creating depth so you need to try to create a three-dimensional image whenever you're taking a photograph think about it so think about it like this you standing there's a there's a mountain in the background a mountain range um, and you've got some beautiful rocks and cacti and flowers or whatever in the, in the middle ground and in the foreground You've got a tortoise crossing the path. But you stand with your camera at head height, you cut the tortoise out, you might get a few of the, the flowers and the cacti in, and you get the mountain range in the back. You've only told part of the story. If you get down nice and low, and you get that tortoise in crossing the path, 
foreground, middle ground, background, you've nailed it. And you can be very, very proud of the, of the photo that you've taken. So I think it's important that when you are looking at a scene, don't overcomplicate your, your composition. Keep it simple. But remember to get down low, because when you do, you're going to naturally tell an entire story. And that can only be good for your overall uh, social media reputation, which has probably been quite damaged up to this stage, uh, with the kind of images you've been posting on there. When it comes to composition, there are a lot of different factors that come in, into play. And as you grow in experience, then you can start on the other bits and pieces that come into composition. And I'll cover that in, 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 another, in another video. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say for this video. Like it, share it, subscribe below, and I'll see you again soon.